Hello and welcome to the Oak and Lamb YouTube channel. My name is Becca Oaks. I'm an owner and craft educator here with Oak and Lamb. Today I want to talk to you about a very common thing. You probably bought your Cricut thinking that you would make vinyl decals. I would say that's one of the first things that most people make with their Cricut, other than maybe a card or something like that. But vinyl decals are very popular. You can put them in a lot of different places, on your wall, on wood, on picture frames, on cups, so many different places. But one of the most popular places is on your car. So making car decals is really easy and I wanna give you some tips and tricks for successfully cutting them, weeding them, and transferring them so that they last on your car for a long time. Let's talk really quickly about the supplies that you're going to need in order to create a vinyl decal for your car. This is the Starcraft HD vinyl. It is from 143 Vinyl and it is considered a permanent vinyl, although if we're being 100% honest, all vinyl is removable, even permanent vinyl. If you want more information on vinyl, check out our video comparing different vinyls where Rachel gives you all the information you need in order to tell the difference in vinyls and what they are used for. So check out that video, but we do need some vinyl. I'm just going to be using white matte vinyl here. I also need some transfer tape. Now, when you're doing vinyl decals for cars and things like that, that you need to really be able to um, even up and center, it's important to have a vinyl that is clear or see-through like this. This has a grid on it, which is really nice, um, but don't grab like your paper masking transfer tape or something like that. You do wanna be able to see through to see where you're really placing this. So transfer tape, this is just a standard transfer tape, not strong grip. I also have my standard grit mat here, this green mat, which is great for vinyl. I have my squeegee or my burnishing tool, whatever you want to call it. And I also have my favorite weeding tool. Now all this will be linked for you below. So check out those links. But now that we are finished talking about supplies, we can chat about different kinds of decals that you could put on your car. So the urge when you are making bumper stickers or car decals or something like that is maybe to make a sticker kind of like what you see on my computer here because it has lots of colors and it's really nice. However, our experience is that we have not been able to find a sticker paper that really weathers for car use. Um, you can purchase stickers that are specifically for use outside that are waterproof and UV resistant, but I have not personally found print and cut materials that I can cut with my die cut machine that weather well. So um, like this one right here even has a, a film on it that's supposed to help with waterproofing, which it does. However, the sun just beats down on it and it fades very, very quickly. So the advantage of using vinyl, especially like a black or white vinyl, is that it weathers really well and the sun isn't going to make it fade really quickly. The other advantage of using vinyl for your decal is that you don't have to have a printer. So if you've just started crafting or maybe you don't have a printer in your craft room yet, you can still make vinyl decals because you don't need a printer. You just need your die cut machine. On the same note with a printer, if you use print and cut to make stickers, then you are limited by the size restriction that Design Space places on that, which is 6.75 inches by 9.25 inches. If you want bigger, you need to use vinyl. You can get using a regular Cricut machine, so the Explore machine or the Maker and regular materials, you can use dimensions that are 11.5 inches up to 23 and a half inches. If you're using smart materials and a Explore 3 Series or Maker 3 Series, then you can get dimensions up to 11.75 inches wide up to 12 feet. So your size limitation is a whole lot less severe when you're using vinyl. Now let's jump over onto the computer and choose the file that we're going to be using today and we will get this cut out and put on our car. We are on our site oakandlam.com and I just want to come up to cut files and press cut files and we're going to do a quick search for a bee cut file. We're going to put this cut file on Rach's car and she loves bees. So let's type in B and we'll download the file. When you are looking for a file for use 
on your car, you need to think about a couple of things. If you're using a file that has really thin, delicate lines, it's not gonna show up as well. Um, so maybe look for something like this that has some thicker lines, and especially if you're gonna make it bigger, then these lines will really show up. Um, so this will be a great file. It does have three layers, but we're going to remove two of the layers so that we just have the outline of the bee. So let's download this and get it imported into Design Space. Okay, now that we have this imported into Design Space, and if you are brand new to Cricut and maybe don't know how to import designs into Design Space, check out our video, How to Import Images into Design Space. That is great education for new Cricuters. Um, but moving along, we are going to go ahead and come to the top right corner where it says ungroup, and we're going to ungroup this image so that we can delete the layers that we do not want. We'll press ungroup. And then you can see right here, we have our fill for the wings. I'm just gonna press delete on my keyboard after it's selected and delete it, cause I don't need it. I'm gonna do the same thing for the body here. And then I also want to delete the creative because I just want this B image. It's very cute. There's no manipulation here. If for some reason you did want to do some manipulation to this file and aren't necessarily sure how to do it because Design Space, if you're just starting, can be a little scary with all of the different actions that are available. So check out Rach's video on how to group, attach, and weld, and it will clear up a lot of questions that you may have for designing here in Design Space. The only thing that we have left to do here is to size this image. Now, you need to consider where you're putting this on your car and how big you want it. If it's going on the back of your car, then you probably don't want it any smaller than five inches. No one is gonna be able to read it unless they're walking behind you in a parking lot or something. If they're behind you at a safe distance, they won't be able to read it. So I recommend, and Rach would attest to this, that do not, make your image any smaller than five inches. Now that we have our image size, we are ready to click make it. I'm going to press that I will be cutting this out on a mat. Can press continue. And then I'll connect to my machine and I'll select my material setting. The material setting that we are selecting today is the premium vinyl removable mat. Now, you do probably remember me saying that this is permanent vinyl. However, you can use the same setting. Now we're ready to load our material on our mat and let it cut out. So I've placed my vinyl in the top left-hand corner here, and because this is a brand new mat, it has a very good amount of tack and adhesive on there. If you have a mat that's been used a little bit, grab your brayer and make sure to bray your vinyl down so that it sticks really nicely. You don't want it moving around while it's cutting. Now we're going to place this, we're going to load this mat into our machine and let it cut. Now we're gonna weed our vinyl. So I'm gonna grab my squeegee tool here and burnish. And then I have quite a bit of excess right here. So I want to grab my true control knife and go ahead and cut this away so that I can put this remnant in my scrap bin. It's gonna kind of cut along here. Using your true control knife to cut on the mat will not hurt your mat, if you were wondering. Let me remove this. Now that I've removed that excess vinyl, I'm ready to go ahead and weed, and this should be really quick to weed. I like to start in the bottom corner and weed off all my excess, and then go in and weed out the little center pieces. However, People do it different ways, whichever you prefer. I do like this vinyl because the backing is blue, so it's easier to see um, what you're waiting. Sometimes some brands of vinyl are white right here, and so if you're using white vinyl, it's difficult to see what you have weeded and what you haven't. Now that we're finished weeding, we're ready to grab our transfer tape and we're going to cover 
our image here with the transfer tape. We'll need to remove the backing of the transfer tape and sometimes what I like to do is place the transfer tape shiny side down on my mat and grab a weeding tool just to go ahead and start pulling up the backing. Um, sometimes for whatever reason it's difficult for me to grab that so that's a little hack that I like. Now we'll go ahead and remove the rest of it and then place the transfer right on top. And then we wanna grab our squeegee tool and smooth this on, make sure that it is adhered really well. And it's easiest if you can avoid bubbles and puckering or wrinkles or anything like that. So once you have all of that smoothed down, you're going to flip your mat over and remove your mat from your material so that it doesn't curl really badly on you. And then what you want to do with it still flipped over like this, is grab your squeegee tool and burnish from the back. When you burnish from the back, this helps the vinyl transfer over to your transfer tape. I'm gonna go ahead and show you in here, but once I get out to the car, this is what I'm actually going to do. I'll, I'll remove my backing like this, and then I want to take the transfer tape with the image on it and place it on the car. Um, but for right now, I'll just lay this back down. I'm gonna grab the tools that I need and we're gonna go outside and place this on the car. So you will need your squeegee or you'll need a credit card or something like that that will help you smooth this out. And you're also gonna need some alcohol and paper towels to clean the, the window on your car. Before we head out, I do want to also mention, um, we get a lot of questions about whether or not you can put these on the inside of your car window. The answer is technically you can. However, most car windows have a tint on them, so it's difficult to see through the tint. And if you remove them, if it's an aftermarket tint, if you remove the vinyl, then it might tear your tint or make it bubble or something like that. So we do recommend just putting these on the outside of your windows. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you now feel inspired and empowered to be able to create your own car decals. If you have any questions about any of the process, make sure you leave a comment below. We would be happy to answer those for you. If you like that fun little be creative cut file and also love other cut files as well as an amazing community of crafters, lots of craft ideas in many, many genres of crafting, then click the link below and join Oak and Lamb. We would love to have you here in our community crafting with us 365 days a year. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you here another day for another video.